Hello guys, welcome back to some more God of War. In the last episode, I took on the Minotaur and Kratos absolutely battered him despite being much smaller than him. But yet again, that just shows nothing stands in the way of Kratos. And this episode, we're going to continue our journey through Pandora's Temple, of course, and see what else we can bump into. What's this? My second son, my last, has followed his brother to the listen fields in the heart. I know I must continue the work of the gods. But they take so much, at last my soul begins to doubt. Pathos Furtis the Third. Okay. So, what's in here? Let's have a look. Probably another dead body. Always is dead body in these things. There's another head we can pull out? Come on, Kratos, rip that off. You have acquired the architect's son's head. So that's two heads Kratos has acquired. We found another chest earlier on that's played now, also had a head in it as well. What's in here? Hmm, just some orbs. Fair enough. Guess I could regenerate my health while I'm here. Do some more health. So, chest here? No. Okay. So I think that's everything found down here. You know, I really couldn't blame the Mitor for trying so hard to get out of here. I mean, if I was stuck in here for a long time, I would certainly be trying to get out as well. I wouldn't want to be stuck in here for ages. It's a shame the Mitor took his rage out on Kratos, which was not a smart idea. There he is, the poor Minotaur, and you can still see the blood pouring out of his body. Well, you see blood dripping out of it. Ah, uh, gross. The already rotten carcass of a temple's Minotaur hangs above you. You can walk around and you can see the blood coming. Oh, gross. I think I might be able to get my final magic power here. Let's see what it is. Lord Hades, your progress is impressive, Kratos. But your skills will not carry you to your ultimate goal. I offer you the souls of Hades itself. The souls of the dead, who stand ready to fight by your side. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power, and use it to defeat your enemies. You've acquired the Army of Hades. Press the Arctic Bund to select Army of Hades, then press L2 to activate. So now I've got the Army of Hades. Let's try it. Hmm, not bad. Well, I think it's safe to say I still prefer the um, the Rage of Poseidon. I think that's still going to be my favourite one. I'm going to see if I'm going to ask me to get off. Okay, I've got enough magic. This could actually come in handy. Although, I still prefer the Rage of Poseidon. Although, if I start upgrading this with the orbs, I think it'll be very interesting to see how powerful this can get. I just grab Oh, I just can't grab him. I can only grab him if the circle button appears above them. Like that guy there, but I just wanted to kill him. Let's go try and grab him and swing him into each other, but unfortunately I couldn't quite do that with these enemies. Come in, Oh. Go with the gods, traitors. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Yes, sir. Okay, so I think that's a very handy weapon we could use against Ares. I'm going to need some more health. I lost way more health than I should have done in that battle. Especially considering I had the army of Hades helping me out. We're swimming again? Charge away to the camera. Imagine if I was playing this game in 3D and you see Kratos who's coming straight at you. Rings of Pandora back here again? Fair enough. The Rings of Pandora back here again. 
This will probably be the last time we have to visit the Rings of Pandora. Oh, what's this? Okay, that's very interesting. Hang on. If I can get that in line with the beam we shone a few episodes back, maybe we can finally get it activated now. I think that's what I need to do now. See if I can find... I think I remember what that corridor says, that really dark and banky corridor. It's probably going to have loads of enemies while we try to go into it, but... Yeah, again, what's a hack and slash game without enemies, right? Come on, which one? Which one is it? Don't tell me I'm going to be turning this for absolutely ages. Two hours later. Okay, there we go. Now we finally got it. What I didn't realise, I had to turn this one to get into the right place as well. How could I forget about that lever? Oh well, I don't care. We've got it. Finally got the puzzle. And I was right. We got more of these guys to deal with. But if I keep launching them in the air with my attack I think it'd be quite easy to take them out. Shame we've got no magic though to finish these off nice and easy. Oh crap. I think just these two left then once they're done we can go see if that beam finally works. I don't see why it shouldn't now we've drained the water and rings of Pandora. I could save my progress here, but I'm not going to just yet. Okay, let's see if this finally works. We have finally solved the mystery of the beam. So after all this time, after wondering what the beam does, we've finally figured out the way to solve it. It's deactivated itself, but we don't care. We're finished with it now anyway. Nah, I don't need you again. So now what I'm going to do is, I noticed there was a little level we can now pull. Let's see where it takes us. Your progress is impressive, Kratos. But be warned. Once you ascend to the upper levels of the temple, you will not be able to return without Pandora's box. So now I've got no choice to go for Pandora's box if I'm to get back down here. As Kratos rose through the massive temple constructed to guard Pandora's box, he realized it was a monument not only to the gods of Olympus, but to the madness of the mortal who had designed it. He'd conquered the lower floors of Pandora's temple, but what lay in wait above would test even the greatest warrior. I don't think I need to go back down to the rings of Pandora anyway. I think we're done with that place for now.
This guy does not look like a softie, so I think this might take a while to take this guy out. Hopefully this guy is not as tough as he looks though. Like, so far he's not... Okay, maybe he's chipping away a bit of my health. Oh crap. Oi! I'm just gonna block so I can just wait for him, I think. See if I can counter his attack. Oh, I tried. I almost did. There we go. Now what? There I did. I will think this is not going to be the only one of these little shits around here anyway. There's probably going to be another one somewhere of these guys. Fucking like we're doing one of them at the minute. I'm going to try and get a heavy attack so I can launch him into the air and then... Oh, look okay, I've killed him. Fine, but now I've got oh, two of them. Okay, that guy didn't I didn't I was not able to launch that guy in the air. Oh could just so do us some magic right now. Dealing with one of these guys was bad enough. I mean, these guys are I don't think these guys are too tough, luckily. It's not like we're dealing with the Minotaur again. So I'm gonna get the other blade, see if this see if this does more damage. keep swinging my blade around. I hope he, I can imagine this probably will do a bit more damage to these guys. Make us him gone. Yes. Thank you, Blade. Oh, I have missed. Oh, I have missed you, Blade. I forgot how handy you were. Again, how could I forget that this blade was so handy a few episodes back? He's dead now. God, I so need some more help after that. Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the Harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been that long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god, destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the God of War. The Blades of Chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the god of war I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. Wow, the world of Greek Forge, it really, it really is a brutal world. Cliffs of madness lie before you. In my grieving, I felt I may have designed a maze with no true way out. If I am right, may the cruel, uncaring God show you the way. 
Hapospheris the third, one little subject of the gods. Okay, so we're now heading to the top of Pandora's temple. We're getting further and further into the temple. So once we get to the top, we should hopefully at some point be able to get to Pandora's box. It should be up here somewhere. Okay, let's see how many orbs are in here. Hopefully there's quite a few in there as I found a little hidden walk. Oh, look at all these orbs. Lovely stuff. Let's see what I can upgrade actually before we finish things off. I press the wrong pause menu. Uh, hmm. Hang on, let's see if I can upgrade my army of Hades. Not quite. Aha, unlucky. I'll upgrade that in the next episode then. Okay guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you want to keep updated with all the God of War episodes, upload to my channel. And in the next episode, we'll head into the Cliffs of Madness and continue our search for Pandora's Box. We're getting to the top of the temple, so we're getting closer to Pandora's Box. I'll see you guys then. Thank you all so much for watching. This is GoldieX and I'm out.